hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss another important uh, use case that how to use map and address input text box in canvas apps so first you have to enable the feature so go to the environment and go to the environment features area and here you can search uh, address and uh, map option so let me search map so here you will see map and address services here you have to click full option and enable the uh, uh, allow to use the map and address input and click on save this is the first uh, setting that you have to do enable uh, to en uh, to create uh, you know canvas apps to use map and uh, address input bar address input bar uh, in input box means whenever you search any address uh, by partial uh, typing it will give you some suggestions of uh, specific address of that locality so let us create a canvas app and uh, use the address input box and uh, map control so let me go to apps and create a new canvas app now let me provide a name let's say map and select the table type now once the app is ready i want to add the address input text box and a form control and a map control so go to the insert and try to use address input box i have dragged this address input box this is a specialized input box which is used for address input only uh, so that uh, it will auto suggest uh, some uh, different addresses matching with your keyword then drag a uh, short a form first you have to connect an entity let's say i want to connect contact entity uh, because contact entity uh, contains address fields address one address two address city address uh, region right country all these columns are already available in contact entity you can use account entity also so once entity is associated you can add a form control uh, you can use a display form or you can use edit form whatever you are, you, are, you prefer according to your business need so i'm using a form uh, later on i can use this edit form also so once you added this form connect to the entity first i want to connect to the entity uh, contact because I have already taken in the data section to connect uh, contact now go to the data source and connect the uh, contact but first let me take the edit form okay because I want to insert data uh, whenever the address will be bound now connect the contact entity as a data source and s add only those fields which you want to display in the form so that you can create a contact record with uh, address right that will be automatically populated as as per the address selected in the address input so let me use some address input address one uh, city and first name last name uh, which are mandatory then i want to add address one uh, city and region and uh, some related address one uh, columns now you can choose also normally what happens when you add uh, multiple columns uh, the form is now showing in three column uh, layout you can change the column layout as two column or one column depending on your requirement so let me just add all the columns first then I will change the layout now let me click add because I have already associated already selected all the address columns but let me change the columns as two instead of three it will display two columns uh, and uh, adjust all the fields in two columns right so this is how it looks like uh, but I can change in one one column also and let me drag a map uh, component and in the map component also uh, I can bind the address longitude latitude to display dynamic uh, place
now here you can see I have just uh, changed the column as one to display the fields and I have added the map here and uh, address input is there now next thing is how to associate the address input properties right if you directly search now it will not search so what you will do you just scroll down and you just click on this uh, search limit something like 5 and search within radius let's say uh, keep it on you can make it off also it is not mandatory to make it uh, uh, on but you can keep it off also so if you are providing a radius uh, search with radius provide a radius using radius property let's say 6000 miles i want to give here otherwise you can keep it off search with radius off okay and that's it so let me test if it is working fine or not so that we can work on other things if you want to provide some country set you can also provide country set to restrict your search within a country so let me search it now let me search some uh, some text let's say one redmond not still not searching right because till now the auto suggest will uh, display me the information maybe because of the radius i have given 6000 it is not working let me switch off the uh, radius uh, source by radius for now and see how it works i'll go to the an address input bar and uh, i will just switch up the source by radius for now and try to test this address input bar if it is working fine so go to the run button and try to search something now you see when i'm searching with pro it is giving me suggestions uh, and if you search microsoft it will also give you some addresses which matching with microsoft right so depending on the keyword that you search it will suggest you some addresses and once you select some address it will bind uh, the address country and postcode and other related things that the address stores that will be auto bind to the controls on the form but you have to write the uh, default values of these fields to bind uh, to the address input field now go to the form and go to directly to the fields that you want to bind with the selected input so go to the address city and in the default value go to the advanced option and unlock the property then in the default property you just bind address input one dot city so you have to bind the address input one output value all selected address information uh, to the fields of the form so keep on going and just bind address one information So bind with city and uh, country and all other necessary uh, fields you have to bind it. So let us wait for some time the system is hanged. Now always remember when you are we are binding the form fields means we are binding the output property of the address input one to the form fields that's what we are doing right now in this slide okay <coughs> now let me bind So try to bind with exact uh, the columns if it is city then connect city if it is uh, 
post code connect post code right so you have to match that i'm just randomly using some address input informations to bind to the address field of the form okay so here you can use municipality subdivision and district number street name uh, that are part of your address that is selected in the address box okay now let me bind with other uh, columns let's say postal code okay now postal code is done i have bound now let us test this so my intention is as, as soon as you select the address it will automatically uh, bind to the fields right you can take a submit button if you want to submit the contact information to create a new record uh, you can use submit button okay but it is not mandatory right now so we are working on map and address input box demo now let us test this if it is working fine if it is binding the selected uh, address information to text boxes or not now you see guys so you can use first name last name and email and the address city is automatically populating as per the selected value right now what about the map my intention is as soon as the address is selected i want the map should be automatically uh, populate so for that you have to go to address input box and on address select event you have to clear a uh, you have to create a collection variable and associate uh, the address input one return value with a json format you see what json we have created here uh, this json uh, this collection variable will be bound to the item property of the uh, map now click on the map and go to the items and provide the collection name here in the items and once the items is select items is provided as the collection name then in the items longitude and items latitude property of the map we have to associate the uh, collection name dot latitude and collection name dot longitude so this is this three is required otherwise the map will not work properly so let us wait the system is working in background so items i have associated right now i have to associate the uh, items longitude and items latitude now let me bind bind the column uh, the collection and in the uh, items longitude i have to bind the collection dot longitude and i can test this okay now if we when we are testing the map is not showing correctly right you see it is only showing some blue and uh, the blue color right that means there is something wrong so go to the uh, formula and you see there is also some error it is showing so what we will do we will remove this and go to advanced property first okay so go to the advanced property and uh, do one thing let me go to the collection to double check if uh, the collection contains the columns or not the column should contain uh, the output of the address input box so this is the city country that are selected from the uh, address input right so i can use this latitude longitude to associate with the map so that it will automatically populate right so i can go to the property and in the property i have to set 
use default location as on so you have to make it on otherwise it will not work so you have to make it on and uh, latitude longitude you have to associate the collection dot latitude collection dot longitude now let's select a location and try to uh, see if the map is populating or not so let me try to search pune now you see the map is also populating pune saswad road and let me search another address so it will automatically populate to the four fields plus the map so if I will search new town, new town is also populating on the map. I hope you understand how it works. So you can use your canvas app to uh, display map control and bind it with uh, address input box. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you.